Hey, Ronnie Dahl, four-wheeling in westernaustralia.com and welcome to a video all about how to calculate how much fuel your vehicle uses. Not only that, I'm also going to teach you how to calculate how much difference your bigger tires make to your odometer so you can get a more accurate fuel consumption calculation. And finally, I'm going to teach you how to actually work out your fuel range for a specific trip. It's not as simple as just the formula, so stay tuned because there'll be some tips as well. If you're here just for basically fuel consumption tips on how to like reduce your fuel consumption, there is a link up in that corner there, which you can click on. That's a video just about tips on how to save fuel. Now, if that video is not up yet, it'll be up very shortly. Before I'm going to show you how to calculate your fuel consumption and your range and all that stuff, there's one fundamental thing we need to work out first and that is how much difference your bigger tires make to your vehicle to your speedo your odometer your odometer mine are 11 percent out 11 percent so let's just make it simple mass let's just say it's 10 percent out if i have done a thousand kilometers on my odometer in actual fact i've done 1100 kilometers in real terms so there is a very easy way to work this out and i'm going to show you right now okay so here is the best way to do it now there is an easy way of doing it, but I don't trust it to be 100% accurate. Your GPS is the most accurate you know, piece of gear or kit you can get for your vehicle to measure distance wise. So what you need to do is on your next long drive or your next big trip, the longer or further you go, the more accurate it's going to, going to be. Basically set your GPS from where you are, say your home to your destination. Now just drive to your destination. When you get to your destination, most GPS units has the, um, you know, like the, the summary at the end. You must get that summary, take a screenshot of it with your phone or, or write it down. That summary in kilometers, even if you deviate it off to a toilet stop or whatever, it's going to tell you the exact kilometers that you have done. It will be much more accurate than your actual vehicle odometer. Now, manufactured vehicles from the factory, their odometers are actually slightly out. From factory so you can't even trust that that's why i'm saying the gps is the best unit to use the easy and lazy way of doing it is to go to a website you can simply put in the tire you started with the factory size tire and then the next size up that you've gone and it will then tell you the percentage in between it what i recommend you do is do both so go on a trip look even if you just do 100 kilometers you'll be able to you know get a good idea of, of the difference but really the further you go the more accurate it's going to be. Also, just realize that if you do have bigger tires, your speedo is showing less than what you are actually doing. So now I'm going to give you the formula that you need. Basically, you just work out how many kilometers you've done on your odometer and then your GPS kilometers. We've worked that out, right? So in this case here, I have 748 kilometers on the GPS but my odometer says 660. All right, so 746 less 660 equals 88. So it's 88 kilometers difference. So I have a piece of paper here because it's pretty hard to remember. The next step you do is you take the 88, you divide that by 660, which equals 0 0.13, 13%. So your odometer, or the odometer in this case, is showing 13% less than what's actually driven. You no longer need the GPS to give you the true kilometers driven. Use the D percentage, or the difference percentage, to work out the true kilometers done. So from now on, D percentage multiplied by your odometer will give you the real kilometers driven. In this case, 1,000 kilometers in real terms is 11 133 kilometers. That's a big difference. This also means if you're traveling at 100 kilometers per hour, you are in fact traveling at 113 kilometers per hour. So you now know the difference that your tires make. Now we're going to calculate how much fuel you've used. Now I'm going to show you both ways because some people prefer how many liters per 100 k's and other people prefer how many kilometers per liter. So I'll give you both. We have used 110 litres. And how do I know we've used 110 litres? Because when we filled the tank up, I fill it up to the brim. When I got to my destination and I calculate the kilometres, 
I then filled it up as soon as I possibly could. And I got 110 liters in it. So that's how you know how many liters of fuel you've used. All right, liters per 100 Ks is a simple process. Two steps, take your liters, 110, divided by kilometers driven, 748. This equals F for fuel, 0 0.14705. Now take the F formula and multiply that by 100, which will give you 14.705. So that's liters per 100. Let's round it up to 15 liters per 100, and that's around about what our vehicle is doing. Kilometers per liter. Kilometers per liter is a lot easier to calculate. You basically divide the kilometers by the liters used, and then you get the result. For example, 748 kilometers divided by 110 liters. This will give you 6.8 kilometers per liter. So round that up to seven, and you got seven kilometers per liter. Much easier to work out. We're now going to use the initial example to work out the range on my vehicle. So the initial example was 14.705 liters per hundred. We're gonna, we're gonna use that formula, and I have 302 liters capacity on board. So that's what we're going to use to calculate the range of my vehicle. All right, the Land Cruiser has 302 litre capacity of diesel. We know our fuel usage is 14.705 per 100 kilometres. So what we do here, we take the fuel capacity, so total fuel on board, 302 litres divided by litres per 100, which is the 14.705 formula. This gives us 20.54. Multiply this by 100 and you will get your range. Quick recap, step one, fuel capacity divided by liters per 100 used equals the range result. Take the range result to step two and multiply that by 100, which will equal 2,054 kilometer range. For the kilometers per liter calculation, pause the screen right now. It's actually a lot simpler, but I prefer the other way around. So is this the true range? Well, no, it isn't your range because my vehicle, I can get 14.705 out of it. I can actually get that. However, my average sits around 17, 16, 17 liters per hundred. And I know for a fact that 302 liters are not going to give me 2,054 kilometers. The most I've ever gotten out of my vehicle was 1,700 kilometers. That, that is a lot of Ks but 1,700 kilometers until my fuel light came on. Side note, fuel light. When my fuel light comes on in my Land Cruiser, 130 litre tank, the most I've ever gotten into that tank has been 110 litres. So, when you work out your fuel range, it's not really that range because there's still some untapped fuel you can't even get to. If you have two tanks, you will not be able to get to the bottom of either tank. If you suck them dry, rarely, people will suck their tanks dry unless they're really desperate and they absolutely have to. But out there, in the middle of nowhere, you don't wanna suck your tank dry because there could be crap in the bottom. So, when that fuel light comes on, you have emptied that tank, more or less. Other reasons that'll ruin your calculations, strong headwinds are going to change your liters per hundred. The load, if you're towing, if you're driving on sand, changing driving speed, Look, if I'm driving 90 kilometers per hour and I'm towing, I can get 14 liters per 100 kilometers, or 14.705. If, on the other hand, I drive 110 with no trailer, I'm actually using more fuel than when I was towing. So that's how much it can vary, and that is why I'm saying you need to do this in and out and all different various terrains, wind. Only after a while of owning your vehicle, so if you travel frequently, in one year, you may be lucky enough to get your average fuel consumption. However, if you don't drive that much, it's gonna take you longer to work out the true figures on your fuel consumption. Just one more thing. When you are driving in your vehicle, and for those people who trust that CPU thing on your dash that says, how many kilometers to empty, or range until empty, don't, don't trust it. It is not accurate. I 100% guarantee you, you'll end up in trouble if you are planning a remote trip and you rely on that thing, you're gonna run dry. It's not accurate.
all the calculations that we have discussed will be in the description below. So just copy and paste them, put them, you know, print them out, put them in your vehicle, then you can work it out. Well, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to know more about how to save fuel, there is a video solely on that. And the link for that is just down here. So click on that. I'll give you all the ins and outs on how to save fuel when you're overlanding with your modified four wheel drive beast of a vehicle when you're heading out there. Subscribe here, support uh, patreon.com slash Ronnie Dale if you wish to, no obligations to, and I'll see you in the other video. See ya.